So if we believe, it means you, you don't believe because you have seen something. Because you cannot believe in something that you have already received. Because you've already received, that is your possession. But when it comes to believing, it means you must also trust in God and stretch your understanding to be in the supernatural and not be limited by the natural. But this type of faith of Thomas can limit somebody from Abrahamic blessings. Abrahamic blessings is blessings that one need to qualify by believing in Jesus. Believing in Christ Jesus because Abrahamic covenant blessings they come to humanity through Jesus Christ and therefore when you believe in Christ that is when you began the preparation to receive the Abrahamic covenant blessings. Number five here it says Abra uh, Thomas kind of faith is not Bible faith. It is not Bible faith because it is based upon senses and upon reasoning. That type of faith is just based upon senses and reasoning. When you, when you reason and you sense, that is not faith. But that is what we call uh, Thomas' kind of faith. He wanted to, uh, to sense the, 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 the prints of nails in, in the hands of Jesus to believe that he is the one. But that was not the case. But when it comes to somebody who believes in Jesus, you don't need to operate in senses and reasoning. Because that is where you find somebody going to touch, to feel, and to reason. But that is not what God is intended to us. And therefore, you see that that first part of the faith, it is not going to lift you to the supernatural. Because in the beginning we saw, when I did the first study of faith, we see that faith is one of the major things, the key that access the kingdom of heaven. In order for you to receive what is in heaven, God has already blessed you with the blessings of the kingdom. But you cannot just walk by on foot or drive there. You need to reach to a place of your blessings by faith. Because those are two different positions. There is a, a physical position and spiritual position. But Thomas' kind of faith, it limits you to a physical position. But Abraham type of faith, it goes beyond natural to the supernatural. That is what you need to understand when it comes to Abraham type of faith. And this is very important to all the believers who believe in Jesus and they trust Jesus to do something in their lives. That's why the Bible says uh, when you pray something, when you ask for something, ask in my name, it shall be given to you. In, in other words, it means when you ask something, you must believe that it is done even when you've not received it. That is faith. We call it Abrahamic type of faith or Abraham kind of faith. It is found in Romans chapter number 4, verses number 16 through 22. Romans chapter number 4. Romans chapter number 4. That is where we can get that. Romans chapter number 4. Uh, the Bible says here in Romans chapter number 4, uh, verses 16. The Bible says, Therefore it is of faith that it might, by, it might be by grace to the end. And to promise mighty uh, be sure to all the seed, not to the only which is uh, of, the, of the law, but to that also which is uh, of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us. Somebody say amen. Now you see that uh, Abraham type of faith, it gives us access. It gives us access. It gives us a, 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 a enablement to enter into our blessings so if I operate in Abraham type of faith it means I have begun my journey into the realm of my blessings because faith is the spiritual currency that enable you to buy things into the supernatural realm because you cannot reach there but your faith can go there then it downloads what you need into the natural that's why Thomas' kind of faith, it is limiting man into, into the natural realm. 
But if you operate in Abraham type of faith, you are an unlimited person. You come from the physical realm, then you go to the supernatural to receive from the supernatural. I declare to somebody tonight that may God enable you to enter into the supernatural by faith to receive what is pertained to you. And one thing that I've come to discover, when God has already planned for your blessings, nobody can cancel it. Nobody can take it away, provided you operate in the faith that is according to the word of God. Because Abraham type of faith, it is dependent upon the word of God. And the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse number 17 that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Therefore, Abraham type of faith it depends on the word of god it means this is where we connect to the word to access to our miracles that is what you need to understand there are things that i cannot access to if i have not access to the word of god so if you access to the word of god you will have ability to move and access to your blessings that is abraham type of faith I declare and I pray for you today, tonight, may God enable you to access the word in order for you to access your blessings. Some of the things we are praying for, we must not just go direct straight to them because these things, they are downloaded from the spiritual realm and you must reach there by faith. That's why faith is unlimited thing. You cannot limit a man operating in faith. You cannot limit a woman operating in faith. If somebody decides tonight to operate in faith, those, those things that you call impossible begins to become possible. That, that's what you need to understand. That's why when people appeared before Jesus, even them that came to Jesus to be healed, those that came by faith, they received their portion of healing. That's why you need to understand there is nothing that you can receive from the supernatural without the Abrahamic type of faith, which we call, what we call faith of the Bible, or Bible-based faith. Bible-based faith. Number two, the Abraham kind of faith says, I believe, therefore I see. I believe, therefore I see. In other, by, in other words, it does not say, I see to believe. The Bible says that Abraham type of faith says, I believe, therefore I see. So I pray for you tonight that you may develop Abraham type of faith. This type of faith, you, you believe first before you see. And that is what God wants us to do because faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of the things not seen. Now because I, I have not seen, now what will make me to see it is faith. When I believe, it means next point I will see. So I pray for you. Your miracles are there. That's why Jesus said, those who believe in me, these miracles will follow them. These miracles will follow them. In other words, those who believe in Jesus, they shall see miracles happen. I declare and I pray for you that you believe in Jesus. And after believing in him, you will see the miracle that you're looking for. Miracles are not for the people that uh, only follow them. Miracles can follow you if you believe in Jesus. Praise the living God. Then number three, number four. Uh, and number three, it says, uh, the Abraham kind of faith is not limited to the natural realm. Abraham kind of faith it is not limited to natural realm. This means that when you operate in Abrahamic type of faith, you go past the physical realm to the supernatural realm. You go to the higher level, higher place. And the blessings of humanity, they are in higher places. The Bible says, and David said, I lift up my eyes upon the mountains. Where is my help coming from? Then he says that my help comes from the Lord who is the creator of heaven and earth. Why did David lift up his eyes? It is because he was shifting himself to the supernatural realm. That is to say, David was a man of faith. He was not limited by natural, natural state. 
He was going beyond natural to supernatural. Because at first we have seen Thomas' type of faith, it limits man to natural. But Abraham's type of faith, it is not limited. Man goes beyond the natural. I pray for you tonight that you may go beyond the natural. That business will begin to flourish. Your family will begin to flourish. God is going to use you. That which you call impossible, God is going to make it to become possible. I am speaking to somebody tonight. You are sick and you feel like you are so down. But the Lord says it is possible. It is possible with him. I have come to speak to somebody that is going somewhere tomorrow. You don't know where to begin. But the Bible says he is the way. Believe that word. God is going to use this word to do something for you tomorrow. Your tomorrow is better than today. Because God who will enable you to reach tomorrow, he is ready to provide for you into that tomorrow. Because that's why Jesus said, do not worry about tomorrow. Neither what you will eat, neither what you will put on. But believe God who enables even the birds of the air to be fed, to fool, I speak to somebody today. You are important than those birds. The Lord will provide for you by faith. Only believe in God. Faith is very key to every believer because you see, uh, Abraham type of faith we have seen that it goes beyond the natural realm. It goes into the supernatural realm. It makes you to come closer to God. That's why Abraham became a friend of God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, without faith, no one can please God. Now, the reason why Abraham pleased God, it was because of faith. Faith will make you to please God. And because faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God, I have come to pray with somebody tonight. That let us embrace Abrahamic faith, but not Thomas' faith. Thomas' faith, it is limited to natural. But faith of Abraham, it goes beyond the natural to supernatural. Somebody say, Amen. And therefore, you need to understand here, that number four, it says, uh, the Abraham kind of faith uh, involves the following three principles. These are the principles. You know, you cannot reverse principles. You can easily reverse methods, but not the principles. Principles are there to stay, but method can be changed. You can use a different method, but you cannot change the principle. Now, when it comes to principle of Abraham kind of faith, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 4, verses number 17 through verse number 25. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter number 4, verses number 17 through 25. The Bible says here, in verse number 17, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, uh, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and calleth those things which be not as thou they were. In verse number 18, the Bible says, Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Somebody say amen. And verse number 19, the Bible says, And being not weak in faith, I declare to somebody tonight, don't be weak when it comes to faith. Because now listen to what the Bible says here. Uh, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the, dree, the deadness of the Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what, that what he had promised, he was able also to perform it. 22, the Bible says... And therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now it is now it was not written for his sake alone that it it was imputed to him. In verse number 24, the Bible says, But for us also we to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him 
that is raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification that is what Abraham did Abraham believed number one principle we see here it considers not it considers not that is verse number 19 where the Bible says and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb Abraham continued to believe I, I pray with somebody here Abraham type of faith does not quit Abraham type of faith does not turn away from the presence of God it continues Abraham type of faith it can continue waiting even when the time is tarrying the Bible says when his wife was growing old and his years was approaching a hundred and end the Bible says and Abraham never turned away from God he was a man who believed why was Abraham believing like that it is because Abraham did not operate in Thomas type of life because Thomas type of life it confirms it feels and it sends but Abraham type of faith it is only belief I declare to somebody tonight only believe wherever you are God is going to fulfill that which he promised you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ it has come at a time that we shall not consider what we are passing through we shall not consider the circumstances surrounding us we shall not consider the vicinity where we stay but what God is speaking to us tonight it is to continue focusing to God praising God and believing in God somebody say amen Abraham was not, un was not unaware of circumstances like the ostrich uh, with its head in the sun. He never lift up his, he his head to see the circumstances. I have come to pray with somebody tonight. Never lose your faith to check on the circumstances. Circumstances that are there to confuse you so that you can pull yourself from the point of your ministry, the point of your move, the point of your victory, and you come back to a point of defeat. Remember what happened to Peter. Peter, when he saw Jesus coming, he said, if you are Christ, command me, command me to come on that waters. And the Bible says, and Jesus said, come. And Peter, at that very word, he began to walk on water as Jesus was coming. Peter was also going. But the Bible says, when Peter, when Peter's eyes left Jesus, when Peter came out of the focus, and began to focus on waters began to pay attention on the limitations the bible says he began to sunk i have come to encourage somebody tonight it doesn't matter what you're going through tonight it doesn't matter what you've gone through at the place of work it doesn't matter just continue trusting and believing in god because some type of uh, abraham type of faith considers not it doesn't matter whether Abraham was growing old, whether Sarah was out of the position to be, to be pregnant. And the Bible says he continued believing in God. Number two, he considered God's word to be more reliable than physical senses. You know what has killed a lot of us? It is physical senses. When somebody sends a defeat, you say, I don't see if I will make it. You know, there is power in what you speak. Anytime you speak failure, you become a failure. Anytime you speak victory, you become victorious. Therefore, it is very important that we consider the word of God. Because when you consider the word, the word has got power to put you in a place of victory. And also one thing that you need to understand, senses of humanity can cause you to fail. Because senses does not give you hope. Senses can be frightened. The situation around you, it can kill your faith if you don't focus on God. What makes us to succeed? It is paying attention to God. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes upon the mountains. I will lift up my eyes upon the mountain. In other words, I will lift out up my eyes upon God. And I will not look and focus on the circumstances. Circumstances, they have negativities. But when you focus to Christ, you see hope in the glory somebody say amen 
Number two, the type of faith of Abraham, number two principle, it, it staggers not. It staggers not. That is Romans chapter number four, verse number 20. The Bible says, he staggered not at the promise of God through and belief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. There is what you need to understand tonight. If you want the promise of God to come true into your life, into your family, at the place of your work, in your ministry, you must not stagger at all. The Bible says Abraham staggered not. That is Romans chapter 4, verse number 20. Now I understand. If I am there to win the battle or to succeed in my everything, I must not stagger in my faith. Let us not weave from one point to another point. If you believe that your business is going to make you to succeed, continue trusting God and be faithful in that particular position. God will bless you from there. Don't move from one point to another point. That is staggering from one point to another point. But Abraham considered to remain faithful to God. Let us see what the Bible says here. There is an explanation here. God gave Abraham a promise that seems to be impossible. Sometimes we are tested to be approved. That is what I always say. Abraham was given a promise that is very much impossible. But the Bible says he continued to rely on God. Number two, Abraham stood firm with what promise? With that promise. And he refused to be moved by circumstances or magnitude of the promises. But listen to me. The circumstances surrounding every individual, it has ability to pull you down. If you don't focus to God, if you focus to God, your faith cannot, cannot move you from God. It will make you to stick on God. So Abraham, no matter how the circumstances were, it could not move Abraham from where he was. Number three, it is fully persuaded. The principle number three of Abraham's faith, it is fully persuaded. That is Romans chapter 4 verse 21. It is fully persuaded. The Bible says, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. This type of faith believes that God who said, he will do it. If God says, the Bible says, my word does not proceed from my mouth in vain. I pray for you tonight before you go to bed. May God fulfill the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says here, uh, Abraham was convinced of God's integrity. It is very important to know that God is God of integrity. God is not a man to lie. God is a man who honors his word. Therefore, he is God of integrity. Number two, he was also convinced that God is God of ability. If you consider that God is God of ability, God is God of integrity, therefore you will be persuaded to remain alert and stand firm for the promises of God. Number five, Abraham kind of faith, actually the faith, it was faith of God. Abraham kind of faith is the faith of God. Yeah, what you need to understand, the type of faith that was in God, that was the type of faith that was in Abraham. Abraham shared faith with God. If God did impossible, Abraham did impossible too. Therefore, I pray this type of faith will enable us to go to the next level. Mark chapter 11 verse number 22 literally says, have faith of God or have faith the God, have the God type of faith. That is what the Bible says there. Then number two in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 proves that one living in physical body can have God kind of faith if you trust and believe in God. Number seven, the Abraham kind of faith is faith of the is a Bible faith uh, which is based upon the word and rather is not upon senses and reasoning. Number eight, Abraham kind of faith uh, is uh, when Abraham heard God speak, he was convinced and he acted upon what God said to him. I pray that you may act upon what God is going to say to you. And those who operate with Abraham kind of faith will be convinced when God speak to them. They will be convinced when God speak to them. The Abraham kind of faith 
requires responding action to the word of God. Requires responding action to the word of God. May God bless you tonight. Be blessed those that are in different countries. May the Lord give you a good day. And in Africa, in East Africa, this moment as you go back to your place of rest, may the Lord bless you tonight. Have a very beautiful night. Good night. And may the Lord protect your family, protect you as you wake up tomorrow. May you find yourself in a position to receive from the Lord by faith. Because faith is our spiritual currency that makes us to receive from the supernatural of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters all over the world. May your will be done over their lives. In Jesus' name, I pray. Somebody say, Amen. God bless you. You can as well follow us from our Facebook, Bishop Bernard Isambe. You can get me from there. And if you are blessed with this message kindly, feel free to share with it to anybody that you feel to share with and also you can subscribe to our youtube the standard of living church international god bless you and have a blessed night we love you so much thank you see you tomorrow at 4 a.m in the morning amen for morning glory in jesus name